All right, hey guys, here we are, hole seven. What is this? Oh, okay. I remember. I don't remember how to do it, but <laughs> I remember the hole. Um, I think I've been doing some kind of bump here, so I think I'm going to need some good range. So I'm thinking B52. If you get that leveled up enough, alternatively, I'm just going to have to go with this... Uh, Goliath. So we're going to go Goliath 5. Hopefully get our perfect ball because if we miss it, we're dead. But ideally, you know, you'd be using a B52 5 or 6 for this. Um, it's going to take some kind of overplay. So let me throw on, what's that, plus 40? We'll take a look at what plus 40 looks like. Um, you know, I'm we're very close to max. So that's part of what's weighing in on my decision to go so much overplay. Not to mention we're shooting over so much water on this tee shot. So that's the reason that you see me putting so much towards max on this. Another thing you can do is you can, you know, which I might do in one of my guides, you can take like some kind of, Oceana or something. Actually, I might do it on this one, to be honest with you. I can do the Goliath shot on the next account. This this account has a lot of Oceana balls, so I might just go sniper here and use very close to a max number. So I'm thinking about putting this and just kind of plain max club. So let me switch balls real quick. I will hit that shot. I'll do it next time. But for this one, since there is so many Oceanas on this, um, this is kind of a perfect ball. As I mentioned, you know, we're going to need some kind of overplay still. So what, what I'm thinking in terms of an overplay, I'm just going to use very close to my max, max number. So here you can kind of see with what I'm lining up for here. Somewhere right in here. Maybe just a little bit of curl. And as I mentioned, very, very close to this max distance number, 5.6 rings. Maybe just a little bit of curl and getting very aggressive towards landing on this right edge. Uh, just a little bit more curl, but you can see the general gist of what I'm trying to do. And it's really going to require a power zero ball for you to really get that dialed in, especially with all the side spin. So that's what you'll be looking at. Um, hopefully you guys can get that one to drop and get it dialed in. You can see kind of the way that I'm going away with the method. Um, however, you know, I do realize a lot of people might not be able to do that shot. So be on the lookout for my next guide because I'm going to show you how to do the uh, long iron next time. Good luck and catch you guys on the next one.